So here we are at AMF East Point for the Women's National Duck Pin Association Grand Prix. We're in the second game of the ladder with Jackie Adams facing off against Patty Palmer. Jackie starts the game. Breaks a single and makes it. Both of these women are fierce competitors. Patty, a six-time tour winner, and Jackie has yet to win her first star, but has been close many times. Jackie got to this point by defeating wildcard Stacy Gegler. So out of the gate we have Jackie ahead. Patty looking to make a comeback. But she's just a little too accurate. She shoots, going to try to slide the three over, and it's just off. Patty's first tour win was right here at Fairlanes East Point almost exactly 20 years ago today. Since then, she's added five more stars to her portfolio. We go to the top of the second. Oh, six count on there. Once again, these ladies are deadly accurate on that head pin. Just a hair off. You could tell she was on the left side of that six pin. Just not enough to catch the three. Oh, it still goes for the ten. Comes close. Jackie has a chance to widen her lead here. She can write this single. Oh, just slips by it on the right side. She tried to give it that little wiggle there, but... So here's Patty, rolling her third frame. Oh, once again, that head pin right on the nose. She's going to give it a shot to bounce him around. Oh, she takes out the right side, leaving three on the left, the two, four, seven. And she does clean them up for 10. She's fairly accurate. At the end of three, we have Jackie Adams leading Patty Palmer, 34 to 28. Patty breaks a single, 10 pin, and clocks it right in the nose. Puts her back in the game with a spare. Jackie missed a seven pin last box. Let's see if she can get back on her stride by picking up this two pinner. She's shooting the three six. Just a hair off of that three pin. Oh. And she misses it in the same spot. Shake that off and come back in this next half, Jackie. Oh, a nice ball in the pocket, and she leaves herself to 4 7 10. She has the kind of ball that can make this. Uh, she played it off the wall, but not quite thin enough to get it to bounce over and take out the 10. Now she does come back and clean it up for 10. Now we're on Patty's spare. 
Oh, a strike there would have really helped, but that nine counts not bad. It's a single. And she comes back and nails that single on the nose. Picking up pins here and there. Oh, it looked like she lost her balance for a moment there. Got off the head pin a bit. Still managed to break eight on that. And that's a big 18 on that kind of ball. That widens her lead over Jackie Adams. Patty's from the Sykesville, Maryland area. She's bowled in Baltimore most of her life and been around duck pin bowling since a small child. Her mother having risen to the management within fair lanes. Oh, she was a little too accurate once again on that one. It took the head pin off of that 1-3. Cleans it up for 10. And now we have Jackie coming up. Her 6th frame. Another nice ball in the pocket. Leaves the 2 pin or the 6-10. She needs to turn this one around to be able to get back in this game. Looks like she has it. She does. A little thin. At the end of six, we have 62 in account for Jackie against 75 for Patty. There's her count. Nice eight count on that side ball there. Puts her up to 70 to 75 in the sixth. She's only down by five. Five pins can be fairly easy to make up if you're making your breaks. It's all about the counts and holding your wood. Oh, and she's right on that front pin. Back up with Patty. Right in that pocket. Leaves a solid five pin. Patty's really getting her ball out there today. You can hear that thump when it hits the lanes and it makes those pins move up and down, left and right. Right in the nose again. She's been deadly on those singles. Ah, just off to the side. I believe that's a four count on that one. Patty's trying to focus on this. A spare here would be a really big help. Uh, she leaves the five pin on that. Comes back and once again gets ten out of that. Holding the wood at this point in game. The wood left on the lane is making a lot of difference between these two bowlers. Jackie's slightly off the head pin but leaves a two pinner. And comes back and makes it cleanly. She needs a big mark here. Uh, she's just off the left side of the head pin. Leaves the one three seven. Oh, and the nine pin was hiding back there. So that was only a six count for her. Jackie needs to get her wood here. And she does clean it up for ten. Here comes Patty. Strike here can start to close the door on. And there it is. There's the strike. So we're Patty Palmer, 109, leads Jackie Adams, 106. But she's on a strike. She still has another ball to count here with the spare break. 478. And there she is. Gives her 119 to Jackie Adams, 105 in the ninth. She's ahead by 14 with one frame left. Ends up with 137. Jackie can't do it even if she triples. But if she's certainly going to try, the best she could do with three strikes here is 135. And that's not enough. Oh, and there's the second one. But that 135 is not enough to beat Patty's 137. Another beautiful ball for eight. What a finish.